luxury four-wheel drives. These are cars that are very popular in Kenya. And you, if you're looking for one, they are probably very, very, very expensive. And the car we have today on Conversations, I know many of you might say this car uh, belongs to Conversations Row, uh, the Redriven series. However, uh, its price point and also what it has to offer qualifies it to be on the Conversations main channel. And uh, something else, most of you really ask that we review the Toyota Land Cruiser 100 series after we reviewed the 200 series. Well, the 300 series is also on its way, but uh, today let's talk about the 100 series. Why is it so special? It's because some of the features that we see in modern day Land Cruisers made a debut on the 100 series. Also, the first Lexus uh, flagship full-size SUV was based on the Toyota Land Cruiser 100 series and because Conversations is that channel that is going to guarantee you an alluring motor vehicle experience we are going to give you an up close and candid review of uh, the Toyota Land Cruiser 100 series I'll be your host uh, the Conversologist Eric Okabi Eric with the CK and uh, you can follow me at a personal level Eric Okabi on Facebook Twitter and Instagram also we do value your sentiments that is why we have brought this car uh, and we are going to try and you know uh, and disassemble it we are going to try and indulge deeply into it and tell you what makes it uh, so special on this video we are also going to talk about tires so stay tuned because we are going to give you some tips about the tires you should be running on your car and now uh, let's get up close and candid with the Toyota Land Cruiser 100 series and do not forget if you're looking for a car you can get a quality certified car from www.com conversations.africa the Toyota Land Cruiser 100 series. Well, this vehicle is very special to many people, especially four-wheel drive uh, enthusiasts and people who like taking adventures. Well, this car debuted in 1998 to replace the 80-year-old uh, 80 series by then. And the 80 series is my favorite uh, Land Cruiser of all time, uh, to that together with the 76. Uh, however, uh, what made the Land Cruiser 100 series special is the features that brought that it brought forward remember it was the out of the comfort oriented uh, series of land cruisers it made the most drastic of changes to the lineage uh, and i'm going to tell you a few before we get down into it well what what were the major uh, game changing features on the 100 series number one the toyota one uh, the Toyota land cruiser 100 series introduced what is called toyota's modulated electronic suspension system they called it thames eh? so this this enabled the suspension on the land cruiser to be able to adapt to different uh, stiffness like uh, you can take it from uh, comfort to sport and uh, now the stiffness will determine how it handles it will be more stiff if, if it's in sport mode so that it can be adhesive to the road and also a bit more, you know, soft when you shift it to... Uh you know, uh, comfort mode. Uh, the other feature when it comes to suspension that made a debut on the Land Cruiser Heritage with the 100 series was uh, Toyota's uh, active suspension, meaning on the 100 series, that feature to raise it up or lower it was available. And remember, that was coupled up with Toyota's Thames system. What I've told you is called the, modu the modulated electronic suspension system. Uh, then the other thing that uh, made the Land Cruiser 100 series uh, famous is what was called the Toyota's night vision. Let me tell you something about Toyota's night vision. It was the first active uh, night driving assist in modern cars. So Toyota's made the premiere worldwide on the 100 series. So how did it work? The Toyota Land Cruiser 100 series that had night vision had uh, infrared bulbs on their high beams. So, and they also featured CCD cameras. So what would happen? Now, once you put your vehicle into full light, now the, the infrared rays would be monitored by the CCD cameras. And then they had some sort of heads up display that would display the in black and white what lies ahead on the windshield. It was a very, very, very good night vision system that Toyota had because it was epic for night driving. So you could see at night just like a cat would. However, that option was not available in all 100 uh, series. Now, 
matter suspension and land cruiser purists were very unhappy with the 100 series for one reason the 100 series in in the toyota lineage the toyota land cruiser lineage was the first to start reporting suspension failure when it went to extreme off-road why unlike the 80 series and the other older land cruisers that had a solid front axle and a solid rear axle this one had independent suspension on the front yeah so ifs on the front meant that it would not flex as much as uh, the 80 series would with a solid with a solid front axle however it would handle better compared to the older land cruisers now with that in mind let's check out what powers up this particular 100 series and we're also going to talk about some nomenclature on the toyota land cruiser 100 series now let's talk about what powers up this particular Land Cruiser 100 series. The 100 series was available in a series of uh, engines. We had the legendary 1HZ, we also had the 1HD. The 1HD came in two variants. We had the 1HDT and the 1HD FTE. Well, this one, unlike the other uh, diesel engines uh, that uh, succeeded these ones, this one was didn't have common rail direct injection. So it was still, you wouldn't have so much problems with the fuel line and also the mode of fuel injection um, system up and down. But uh, another thing, you would also find this in petrol engines. Uh, you would get the 1 FZ and also the 2 UR on the 100 uh, series. Uh, now, there is something interesting about this particular one. This particular one has the 1HD FTE, meaning, uh, and by the way, the, on, the, on the 100 series, the diesel ones were straight six. So you would have the 1HZ, which was uh, inline six, but without a turbo, then the 1HD and 1HDT and 1HD FTE had a turbo. Now the 1HD FTE is, uh, well, it's, it's, it's not, it has a balance of power and torque because it's not very powerful if you compare it to modern day uh, engines, but it has impressive, you know, reliability ratings. The 1HD can produce around 200 horsepower and 430 Newton meters of torque. And uh, if you're getting it in a Land Cruiser 100 series, power will be transmitted to the wheels either through a five-speed automatic or a five-speed manual transmission. This this particular one has a five-speed manual transmission and now with that let me get to the nomenclature of the Land Cruiser 100 series. This particular one is called the Amazon. So what about the Amazon? The Amazon is the UK spec of the Land Cruiser 100 series. So the Amazon was purely for the UK markets. And when you go to the interior, you will see that the turn signal knob is on the left side, typical of European vehicles. There was also another one that was called the Cygnus. Now, remember I told you about the Lexus first flagship full-size SUV was based on the Land Cruiser 100 series? Well, the Cygnus is literally the Lexus LX470 for the Japanese market. So it was called the Land Cruiser Cygnus. So up to there, I think we are at par. Now, let's go to the side profile of the Land Cruiser 100 series and get to learn a few things even about the, the wheels that it's running on. Now, uh, the Land Cruiser 100 series sits on 18-inch wheels, eh? and I told you about the suspension. So this one has the ability to increase clearance or, or uh, lower it. So you can either raise it or lower it. That is courtesy of Toyota's active suspension. And uh, also, I told you that uh, the, you can you know, change the, the damping of the suspension uh, through Toyota's electric modulated suspension, the TEM system, eh? and it was the first on this one. However, most people who are driving these vehicles, uh, the guys who go extreme off-road, I don't know why they choose to delete you know, the, the, the whole terms and also the active suspension, but that's, we'll have that topic on our social media platforms. Well, on the tires, you guys have been asking us to talk about tires, and today uh, we have got yet another Maxxis tire by Tire World Kenya, and this is the Maxxis uh, 980 Bravo All Terrain. So it's an all terrain tire, that means it's a versatile tire. You can use it in the mud and on the road as well, also for the rocks. So, what are the unique selling points of this particular tire? Number one is the tread, it has uh, a tread that is bigger, giving you more surface area, even in terms of wet handling. The other, the other feature is that it's self cleaning. So, if you're driving in the mud or uh, 
on the rocks or on gravel where you know you have some small rocks accumulating between the treads and also mud accumulating in between the treads this tire has the ability to you know quickly clean itself and uh, still guarantee you that maximum uh, traction the other unique selling point about it and something that most people might be really looking at if they are buying a 4x4 is uh, its resistance to damage so this tire the rubber on this tire has been formulated to be hardcore meaning you're not going to get uh, damage if you're going off-road on this car or even uh, our roads are not very good even on tarmac roads sometimes you have an even roads very rough tarmac and even potholes so uh, the the hardiness of the compound that makes the Bravo 980 is resistant to you know damage uh, the other unique selling point about this car this uh, it has it has quite a number is reduced road noise so if you're running on the Bravo you are not sometimes if you're running on some of these tires there is normally that woo sound yeah and it can be very annoying you can't even speak on phone so this one has reduced road noise and uh, for people who are using them for commercial use it can withstand high payloads so it's a hardcore tire and it's a tire that will give you value for money it's long lasting and does not get damaged easily so at least now you know about the bravo 980 let's continue talking about the 100 series the other thing remember the hammer the hammer had uh, metallic running boards uh, these ones are not as hardcore as the ones on the hammer but remember these are luxury oriented four-wheel drive system uh, and I told you it handles better because unlike the 80 series its predecessor that had a solid front axle this one has double wishbone suspension on the front and that gives it epic handling the other thing i have to mention about steering this car and why it's loved even driving high speeds on this one it has a rack and pinion steering and toyota claimed that that would give it better handling but i can attest that this car does actually handle really well so let's take a look at the rear and see how practical is the 100 series the rear of the 100 series is quite interesting because we have so many variants and i think we need to have a video whereby we did a video whereby we talked about the variants of the toyota prado i think we also need to do one for the land cruisers because uh, the land cruiser 100 series can come in various uh, tailgate configuration this one specifically the amazon uh, it has a split tailgate that can split uh, top and bottom However, you might find some other 100 series, especially the lower trim levels and the one that were bought by the United Nations, manufactured by Gibraltar Toyota, have a very interesting tailgate. It's a split tailgate, but it doesn't open up like this one. So you can only open it like a gate. And it opens side by side and not top down. So that is one thing you should know about the 100 series. The other one is that there are some other uh, variants of the 100 series that they have that have the spare tire mounted on the tailgate and those ones are mostly the ones that uh, you know whose tailgate opens up side by side however there are guys who like their spare tire on the tailgate so how does that one work it's an aftermarket uh, thing whereby you attach a uh, you know what is it, what is it called you attach at least a, a carrier on the body of the vehicle but before you open up the top part of the tailgate you can open up you can open it up this way i think mugwa will find a way to demonstrate that so some of them are aftermarket others are factory but for this one you have uh, a spare tire under the vehicle it's a practical four by four it has ample space for luggage and it also has you know a seven seater configurations you can fold up the third row of seats and that makes it a very versatile car both for family for off-road use and also for daily use the other thing that makes the 100 series a favorite to many is that it has the ability to be kitted full blown meaning you can get an off-road kit for this car to take you even to the most remote of places however if i was asked which one would i go for i would any day any time i would go for the 80 series let's check out what uh, the interior has to offer on the land cruiser 100 series because there are some uh, very nice features that are there to be discovered there is uh, one more feature 
that uh, I need to tell you guys about when it comes to the Toyota 100 series. You know, most people try and bash Toyota and claim that uh, Toyotas are not very safe. Well, that is quite untrue. Uh, the 100 series came into production in 1998 and there was one feature that was very safe, uh, especially because it has raised ground clearance and um, if you you know anytime you have a higher cog the vehicle stability is a bit you know it's a bit compromised however uh the 100 series had something that was called uh roll, roll sensing curtain airbags so that was um, that was as a result it, it worked because there were some roll sensors that you know would detect how how much roll the vehicle is having so if a vehicle rolled over the curtain airbags would actually activate meaning that even if the vehicle rolled you would be safe inside and that is what this button is for see there is the rsca off so meaning if you push this button you turn off the roll sensing curtain airbags that's how so toyota has it has you know the 100 series prove that Toyota could actually be very safe and I'm going to keep on reminding you that the first flagship Lexus full-size SUV was based on the 100 series what are the other the other interesting features it, it, has, it has a very simple you know dashboard very simple interior but I told you the Amazon is a UK spec Land Cruiser 100 series and that is why the turn signal knob is on the left hand side the other thing is that this one comes with a stick shift as you normally see, monome ni ukanyaga clutch na kucheza na fimbo. So this one is a five-speed manual. And uh, unlike most luxury SUVs, you do not engage four wheel with the touch of a button, not like the hammer. <laughs> you have the other shifter here to help you engage 4WD, high, low, or even neutral. Uh, there's yet another feature. I told you about the Toyota's electronic modulated suspension system or the TEM system by Toyota. So uh, let me put my phone here. You can choose your ride your ride feel or you ride your suspension feel either uh, on you can take it to comfort for, for road cruising or you can take it for sport when you want to push the car hard or negotiate corners at relatively high speed now sport does stiffen the suspension it stiffens the damping so meaning the car is more adhesive to the road now comfort is a bit soft and this is for on-road cruising maybe when you're you no, know, uh, hauling your family around. The other feature I would like you guys to see is the active suspension. This button over here can either raise the vehicle or lower it. But most people who own 100 series, especially the off-road junkies, I don't know why. We have seen this with Ibrahim when we are going for pre-purchase inspection. Most guys really delete this system. But uh, for me, you know, Toyota systems are quite, are quite. Um, reliable. So they are, they are not much of a big problem. You have the diff lock here. So you can actually lock the rear differential from this button over here and you can also lock the center diff uh, Kutoka Hapa. So it's a capable off-road rig but Toyota Land Cruiser purists were not happy with the 100 series because of one reason. It did not have a solid front axle for maximum flex. Let's take this car for a drive with the boys and hear what they have to talk about it because we are taking it off-road and I hope Ibrahim will not freak out. He was he freaked out last time with the hammer at a hakutaku in Giandani. So we are going to try and soothe his ego to try and sit here because it's a bit more luxurious. Oh, I say. Yes. yes. At least finally we have convinced Ibrahim to come for uh, the review with the boys. Samurai. <laughs> Samurai. The shuka. I will come down of this car. You missed the fun in the hammer. You, you missed yeah. the fun in the hammer. No, but I watched guys, it from outside. If you have not watched Ibrahim freak out on yeah. the Suzuki Samurai, end up on the conversations. <laughs> Take a link up. You take a link up on the auto on Ibrahim. <laughs> You see, <laughs> uh, something must kill a man. But it was a nice, it was a nice yeah. experience. It was a good experience. Yes. So this is the 100 series. Uh -huh. uh, your favorite happens to be the Signals. Yes, the Signals, man. And you told me it's the first uh, yes. LX for sale LX for, for the Japanese market. Yes. And I'm happy about it. Uh, for me, mm. uh, my 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 list still remains. Yes, yours is the 80 series. 80 series, 100 series. Us Land Cruiser purists mm. did not like this very much. 
Me, because me, me. it was the first land cruiser yes. to report suspension failure. This one? Yes. No, I am okay with the failure. But that was for of extreme off road. Off road. Oh, yes. But you know I'm not an extreme off roader yes. like you. So forgive me because me I will not have any failure. <laughs> <laughs> but this guy is nice, Ukabi. The build quality of this guy is fantastic. Uh -huh. I don't, you know, I don't believe it's a Toyota. It's so fantastic. Yeah, it, it could fit it up, for the age this guy is in. Ah, but when you are going to in a Toyota, huh? Toyota has some very good cars. It yeah, has some yeah. very good vehicles. I agree. I agree. Yeah, it's it's a nice car. We uh, want to be heated seats. Ah, is it those are useless things? <laughs> I should not talk about. The, but for the for the age of this car, yes, having heated seats is a major it, issue. It was a major issue. Eh, yeah, okay, it's a major issue. This car made a debut. It was too Yes. Mm -hmm. You see, like the electronic uh, modulated suspension, mm. the active suspension, mm. Mm, the independent suspension at the front, which I believe was not. It was a letdown. It was, but anyway, we we cannot resist. You know, we cannot resist change. Yes. Now this one is a manual. Yes. Uh, so it doesn't have downhill assist. Uh -huh. So so we do the we do the, it the, the old traditional. school way. Uh -huh. So we put it we put her in four four wheel low. Mm -hmm. Uh, for low and mm -hmm. then we put her in first gear mm -hmm. then we release the clutch yes and there goes downhill assist ah so you know na you know na interesting you see interesting so you go the old school way you know as the kanyaga break yeah ona look at how the kanyaga ni pedal yeah so this is how we do downhill uh, downhill yes downhill, downhill assist uh, and that, in that, the old school way the old school way and that is what we told guys some of these new school features are actually very useless <laughs> huh? by the way you know finya kabaton your gari kusaidi na ibs kuterem wapi do it the old school way this, number this, moja this follow epic. yes it's doing it and you see it's even going slower yes. than the the newer cars with downhill assist yes keeping so. the rpm rather than a thousand rpms you see this is very nice. Nine dam zuri sana. Ah. So, let's try to down here assist. Nime wafunza. Mhm. Sasa you guys mtatuambia which one would you prefer? Yes, now we want uh, we want to take this car off road. Uh -huh. Yes. And uh, see uh. whether we are going to take it through the same course the Samurai went through. Yes. And the Hilux. And the Hilux. Mm -hmm. But not the hammer. The hammer had to go through a harder course. Yes. And uh, for this one, the roads are dusty. We have not yet had the rains mm. at the time of when we were recording the video. Yes. But we are still going to have some epic fun. fun. And we have maximum traction. You see, we have a reverse camera. Yes. <laughs> Stock reverse Stock. camera. Uh, and it's looking very nice. So do you guys want to... Do, um, yes! Do really? we freak Ibra out? Uh, I don't think we should... <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we have a sandroom. Yes. So let's take her off-road. Hey. Ah! You must, you must take good care of the clutch because there is so much talk. Yes. Are we on uh, follow? Yeah, we in follow. Uh, do we need follow here? So you do for one, high here. Has to do for high. Yes, my friend. This one, this one is uh, a very small okay. terrain for, for high. Yeah, this is a small terrain for. Uh, and you see, the 200 series yes. has full time four wheel drive. Ah. This one does not. It's selectable. It's not full time. So does it have the best clearance? Have you lifted it up to the highest? Ah, the clearance here is sour. Here, when you are going to be able to ski, Sasa, this is where we start. Remember we are in four high? Yeah, four high, like in yeah. hey, it's not even this one, this one is <laughs> he lacks him yeah. total boy. Okay. This one is, is nothing. It's Aye. nothing to this car. Hey, this one is not off-road. You need to you need to bring Aye. a serious off-road test for this car. Uh. Look, I am enjoying the off-road. And like the samurai. I am you are enjoying. I am enjoying. And you guys can you feel the comfort? Ah, there's nothing. It is extremely comfortable. Hey, well, I'm feeling nothing here, my friend. I'm, ah, this is the How cut man. Kuna? Kuna. There's nothing here. What? Hey, when you look at a kupanda hammer, when you look at a kupanda hammer, ah, this is the there. This is the car. When I make it, I'm going to buy this one. Let me show you. We have this maximum one. traction on Max. This one. This one. Maximum traction. Ah, 
Ferrari stole. <laughs> Wacha tuone hill start. Hill start skills. Uh-huh. Hey. <laughs> Huh? Gary the driver man. Gary the driver. This one, eh? This one. This one. So can we have a team score? Yes. Team yeah, score yeah. The Land Cruiser 100 yes. series. For yes. me, I'll start 10 yes. over 10. 10 over 10. 10. 10. Mm, In 10 fact, mine 10. is 11 over 10. But you see, <laughs> <laughs> your dream car, yo, this is your rig. This now. is my dream car. Okay. This Ibrahim rig. cannot. A rig is a car that makes you want to Peter with the fence. Now yes. this one, this one. You see the way we have done it there. This is the car I want. Yes. Then I couple it up with a very nice Mercedes Benz. Yeah, you're done. I uh, me, I'm done. But you see, I tried a kinyundo in this one. <laughs> then I tried a kinyundo in that. Forget one. your hammer. This is the real deal, my friend. No, this one is very reliable. But remember, yes, this car you always have broken CVs. Ah. Uh. If you go to extreme off road like me, okay. well, this is a car that would not suit me. Yeah. Although it scores highly for the ordinary driver, yes. but for the extreme off roaders, the 80 series, mwah, 80 series, you look like king. Sign out, to Kabi. We are done with this review. He, he, what were what was subscribed? Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, yes, subscribe. and tell us what other four wheel drive. The rains are almost coming. Yes, so we must take this off road. We might take this off road thing a notch higher. Definitely, I think, I think, I think, I think mm. people are still complaining that we didn't bring many four by fours. Yes, no, now this they are year, here. Now this year, the the Yes. <laughs> So over and out. Over and out, over guys. And out, uh, yeah. Value for money, na value. Uh, value for money. Gari ni value for money, buana. Kusangapi <laughs> gari. Hey, if one hundred series, uh, base me panda. Sai, uh, uh, a clean one. You will buy it for as much as four million. Oh, wow, it's worth it. It has now. You easy to look at. Buy what we look at. Nineteen ninety eight. Even I cheaper. Will, I will buy it. Okay. Yeah, it's a car that you will buy. Yeah, you, you see, know. we have taken the terrain that uh, the Hilux struggled. The samurai, okay. The samurai managed. did not struggle. It did not, it but did it not. was yeah. But you see, but this one is relax. a smaller car. Yeah. Mm. Well, 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 well. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much.